as I've grown. Blood in the sweat, tears and regret. Here he is, the controversial, the legendary, BDP. Make way for the king. Another Mike and Mike production. In three, 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 two, 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 one, one. Welcome to Cigar Hustlers Podcast, episode 325, recorded live at Mike and Mike Production Studios in Del Tunnel, Florida. This is the Cigar Hustlers Podcast, the show where two guys share their passion for cigars, business, and life. Join Mike, the King, Stepan Kevich, and Mike, BDP Palmer, as they talk about the latest cigars news, reviews, tips, and interview some of the most influential people in the cigar industry. And me, I'm your engineer and sound tech, Phil. Whether you're a seasoned aficionado or a curious beginner, this podcast is for you. So sit back, relax, and light up a cigar with Cigar Hustlers Podcast. Wow, almost timed perfectly. Welcome to Cigar Hustlers Podcast, the show brought to you commercial free. But a massive shout out to our amazing, well, almost all amazing, patrons on the Patreon. Thanks to your unwavering support, we're able to deliver unfiltered, unbiased opinions on all things cigars and personalities in the cigar world. Your backing makes it possible for us to keep it real for our listeners. Cheers to you. If you'd like to become a Patreon member, go to www.patreon.com and search a Cigar Hustlers podcast. Make sure to add that A. Run to camera three real quick. Uh-oh. Just so you know, we're going to do the Los Tatos Deluxe on the oh, Patreon. Los Tatos. Oh. Uh, I just wanted to get out here and, and get in front of this and kind of state this right now. Right. Just for the record. So you're not weighing it with the foil. Yeah, it's 13.9 grams. Uh, if you're a Patreon member or a patron of the Patreon, please do us a favor and don't share the content with people who are not patrons of the Patreon. They can always pay as well. This is designed so that we don't have to take on sponsors so that we can have open and honest opinions about things. And sometimes those opinions, they're... they. Or frowned Controversial. Upon. Yeah, they get upset. People get upset. People, <laughs> People get, get upset. Get a little miff. So, look, I'm going to tell you right now that when it comes to me reviewing a cigar, when it comes to us reviewing a cigar. Thank sorry. you. I was going to say us. Sorry. <laughs> when it comes to us reviewing a cigar, we're always going to give our honest opinion. Of course. And the fact of the matter is that if somebody does a misstep in the industry, I'm going to say it. If if my friend is 50 pounds overweight, I'm going to tell him he's 50 pounds overweight. I'm not going to say, no, man, you look good. He look, does that. People fucking, when people make, I do do that. When people make mistakes and people fuck up, it just happens. We took points off a of road leaf. Would you, would you prefer me to be dishonest about something? And then when you're, when business starts to tank, you you have no idea what the fuck went <laughs> you know, on. What happened? But everybody loved the cigar. Mike, why didn't you tell me? So, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm just flat out. I just want to address that, man. You know, if you're going to be upset about it, or, you know, for one, fucking pay for the subscription so that you have an opinion instead of uh, bootlegging that shit. That's fucking dirty as fuck. It's ten bucks a month just for the audio. Yeah, it's and not like it's a hundred or something. You know, uh, and it's fifteen. Now, if you share that stuff, I'm gonna fig- we're gonna figure out who is. We sh- always find out. Yeah, it doesn't. T- it's not long. It doesn't. It's not hard for us to do that. We find out who does it, and you know we'll talk to you about it, and hopefully you don't repeat it again. If you do, like if I find that there's a new customer and then they're just sharing the shit, we're just gonna turn you off, man. It's just that simple. And as far as brand owners and manufacturers that get upset with us, us, <laughs> no, that's just you. <laughs> you or get upset with me, you can be upset. No, it with me. does. That's perfectly acceptable. You can be upset with me. I'm not hard to fucking find. You can call me, and where, and we can have a conversation about it. So you know. I am who I am, and, and I've been in this industry for 15 years. I'm not about to fucking change for anybody. If I feel like you made a misstep, I'm going to tell you when you made a misstep. I don't care if we're best friends. So uh, do better. Do better. Do fucking better. And if you want to talk to me, I'll, you know where to find me, PCA. You know where to find me. Who, 3097? You know where to find me Monday through Friday. I'm here at Cigar House Alert, so. Well, right. Mostly Monday through Friday. <laughs> mostly, yeah, mostly. Mostly okay, Monday through Friday. Friday. Yeah. Wow. Mostly. You know, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't fully understand the 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 
statements of punishing other people that are affiliated with me either. That makes no sense, you know, just because of oh, my opinion. I, I thought you were, I was like, what did somebody say to me? But you no, know, I figured out what you're talking about. So if you know, don't go and chastise my friends because they're my friends. That doesn't. That's stupid. And you just come close my account. That's fine. <laughs> Go shut me down. That's fine. If you right. really, if you really don't want to, if you don't want to talk to me about things, then, then fucking you can punish me. I don't care. That's fine. I'll be okay. I promise. She knows when we when we're. Is practicing. she calling? Yeah. Put her on the phone. Wow. Wow. It's like she got radar. And we haven't done this at the same time. Yeah, it's been all different <laughs> on these early morning things. Hey, we're podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> It is 12 o'clock. Yeah. We're getting it out of the way. This is complete bullshit. I feel like this is a fucking setup. We ran we down did, as yeah. soon as you called. We just sit around waiting on the phone to ring. Yeah, we just... We yeah, just... I'm, I'm, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, well, never mind. Is, I will talk to you later. Is everything okay? Um, do you need mouthwash for Vegas? Ah. Uh, of course. Yes, I, yes, he does. I'm uh, his roommate. Yes, Please, yes, yes. A lot I, of mouthwash. Yes, I need mouthwash for Vegas. Oh, wow. Okay. All righty. All right. I love you. Love you, bye. Bye. I feel like that mouthwash was for the wrong reason. <laughs> My amazing wife. Um. So yeah, so let's re- we're going to review this one today, and let's oh, nice. see if this one sucks or if it's any good. <laughs> you do know? we do we all want to do a pre? It sucks or doesn't suck? No. <laughs> no, that's that's well, part of the, the Patreon content. <laughs> a good pre hit the shit button if you want. <laughs> I've heard good things about this. Have you from other people that have smoked it? Yes. I've really? seen it posted, yeah. It not, uh, not not just fanboys. Really? Yes. I mean, I, we don't really um, uh, hold his opinions in high regard anyway, but still, they did, they did say he liked it. Oh, okay. Well, this is a whole line, right? The blue one, the green one, now this one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know this will re- release tomorrow, but tonight I'm going on How About That Cigar. Yes, oh. I saw that. They tagged me in the post, but not the show. Oh, <laughs> Well, you so yeah, they wanted you to see the the post, but uh, they want me to help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you get right. slide in from time to time. Uh, okay. Well, at the comments, I'll watch. So I remember, I always forget. So we're gearing up for PCA. Yes, this is uh, a PCA pre-show. It's coming and up quickly. It's all PCA, PCA news. And our T-shirts are done, by the way. Oh, oh. I saw Greg uh, showed me his. Do yeah, you have all of them? Yeah. Well, I have everybody here's ah. here's here's everybody's first. everybody's. Oh, here's first. Well, you might want to hold on the other ones. You might not need them. Uh, the dent- well, I was gonna make ones that said like you know we'll we'll chug cock of blank for oh. them and stuff like that. Oh, and nice, draw penises nice. on them and oh, stuff. Oh, nice. Wow. Because you don't want to fuck with me, dude. I'll fucking right. I'm, I'll make a f- I'm, I'll have a good time. Sure. I'm gonna have a good time. It, it won't. I can't think of the word. It, it won't harm us one way or the other. You know. I mean, you can't fuck with my pots and pans. Oh, by the way, uh, when. Um, Romatron? Yeah, I forgot he was the one who gave us the pots. Yeah. Yeah, he said they need a little seasoning or something. They need some tarnishing. They need yeah, they some, some fixing up in there or something. We love them the way they are. Yeah, that's what I told you. We use them as ashtrays. They're fine. Yeah, we're not putting eggs in there. I mean, but it would make a nice little egg. Uh, It would. It would, yes. Yeah. What size is this? I guess we'll I'll, I'll, it's I'll a perfecto. look at that Yeah, but it's, it's on the sticker. Like a, it's like on a, the black thing. Oh, is it on the it's sticker? It's like a five and a half yeah. by 50 perfecto. That's really small. How am I supposed to see that? Los Toros. I can't see that. So I had kind of a chill weekend. I didn't really do much Sunday. We uh, we went to lunch on the river on Saturday. Oh. Um, and then uh, Sunday we went boating with our friends. Oh, boating. With the, the Dave and Lauren again. The submarine commander. Ex-submarine mecha- uh, commander. Nice. Yeah. It was a nice weekend. Adrian was going to go uh, paddle boarding Saturday, but I talked her out of it with the ankle. That really didn't seem like the best it's Probably not thing. a good idea. Right. Either. I go, honey, that thing's going to, you know... You know, well, first it doesn't do that. And they go, well, it's going to move somewhere. Right. It's water. Yeah. You know, ankle tightens up. You fall in the water, hit your head or something, and then you, know, uh, you take pictures and then, you know. My idiot husband. Let me fucking Yeah, know. right. Mm. Mm. Well, that's good. I, You know, I, I definitely got like a sniffle. Yeah. So oh, I, this no. is lovely. Maybe little, it's, uh, it's the pollen. Let's just hope it's the pollen. That's what I thought it was. And I'm like, There's oh, no, I'm actually, on the ground. I'm actually sick. Uh, I, got a, I got a cold for sure. Right. I got a cold. My fucking legs fucked up. My back's been bothering me. My neck's been. Bo- I'm like I'm a fucking mess. Oh wow! All all in time for is PCA. the back from the limping? You think? I think the mm. the back is from the injury. Uh, oh, the, the the car thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, then, right. and then because of the fact that I have to wear the boot, 
Right. I off shift. Right. Yeah. I went to a birthday party on Friday with Jax, which was oh. entertaining. Yeah. Had some kids that uh, had a physical altercation. That was that oh was, yeah. a fight at the thing. Yeah. Oh, and and it wow. wasn't you. No. Oh wow. No. What were they fighting over, a girl? Were they fighting over, a girl? Uh, you, who got don't first you remember place? Remember us last time when we uh, told you like the next fight, like you had to insert yourself. <laughs> Right, you're supposed to be part of the fight. I actually did have to insert myself to separate these kids. Oh, okay. did you zip over on your little scooter? Uh, I I hobbled off my scooter and oh. grabbed the kid and said, "Stop, man! What are you doing?" So was it wasn't any of your children? No. Oh no! Well, you just let them go. <laughs> it wasn't your party. No. Well, the party wasn't in your house. It's not one of your children. Was it? Uh, was it Levi? No. Okay, because I would assume he's like one away from your children. He's I practically can see my kid. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you jumping in for that. But if it's just two kids. Yeah, well, I can't. You're injured. I can't not let. Were there other parents there? There were some around. Hmm. Around, <laughs> around. Like I said that. Were there t- the two dads of the kids <laughs> throwing money? Got no, look. twenty on my kid, and my kids got yours. <laughs> okay, I'll see you twenty. I don't know, man. You know, I'm just not. I'm not built to just kind of stand there, right? Right. And I think that something sometimes when I see, been your physical condition. Yeah. The last thing you need it, is to get knocked down but, and roll around. On but the you ground. don't think about that. Ask Adrian. That's true. Oh yeah. No yeah, shit. but he's all upper body. Who? This guy. Me? He's all over about it. Yeah, but oh, the yeah. lower half is what hurts. I'm not... Uh, well, so, yeah, but he doesn't have to use his lower half. Like, he could just use his upper half. Well, he didn't take the scooter over. What do you though? mean I'm all upper body? Yeah, I mean... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean I'm all upper body? You're like Hulk Hogan up, up, to, up, uh, up top. Uh, top like, so, yeah. I, so I don't work out legs or something? Well, I didn't say you don't work out legs, but your upper body is definitely probably stronger than your lower body. I don't know, man. My legs are pretty strong. Think I so, work man. out legs three times a week. Yeah. They used to be. No, they still are. <laughs> I would say at the moment, Michael, your upper body is stronger than your lower body. I would say, in general, I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> well, yes. To be honest. <laughs> but if you had to go right now, you could not do a leg press. Well, right now. With, you definitely know. not. I would say a leg press is probably off the table. At this there you go. Moment. But you can still do a chest press. Yes. So Bench press. Bench press. Thank you. I, I, as soon as I said I know that just does not sound right at all. Not the chest, right press. chest press. Chest press. <laughs> so, chest flies. So, yeah, all that was entertaining. Oh. Uh, today's my mother's birthday. Oh, oh, does she know? I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet today. Oh, yeah, he's out. <laughs> no. We're going to go over there uh, after work today. Oh. She doesn't know we're coming. Oh, nice. Take her some Even hours. if you told her, she probably wouldn't. Yeah, know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to know either way. Yeah, her thing now is she thinks her golf cart batteries are going bad. Like, wow, you bought those after Dad died. They're not even two years old. They're fine. Stop putting water in them all the time. <laughs> They're low. Yeah, she They're likes them to stay low. top. They got to yeah. stay filled, all the way filled. <laughs> now there's acid stains in the garage floor. There's acid stains on the driveway. Well, yeah, you're only supposed to, f- you, you can't fill them all the way to the top. You have to fill them a little right, bit yeah, below that. Right. And yeah, we even gave her an article that says you're only supposed to do it once every two months. Right. Yeah. I'm not reading that. But she, she rides her golf cart every day. She's not reading your MSNBC <laughs> bullshit. She gets, she gets, she you keep that Fox News garbage things, away from me. And now, the, at the moment, it's the golf it's, garbage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've solved the people on in the in the roof or whatever. Those, yes, so, yes. Yeah. The roof thing's uh, gone. Yeah, that's, yeah we, uh, we forgot them. We've moved on. So now it's the golf cart batteries. The bear, there was a bear outside. There was somebody on the roof. Right. No, the bear was on the roof. The bear was on the roof. Bear was on, and yeah. shit in the yard. Oh, my God. Bear, bear on the, the roof. Yard. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of noise. Bear on the roof. That's scary. Bears don't, bears don't climb in the house, Mom. I heard it. It was on the roof. Nice. Okay, fine. Whatever. So I went to the airport today, and I set up my TSA pre-check. Yeah? Which I'm very excited about. Oh. Yeah. So, you have to let us know how that works. So it's clear plus TSA pre-check. You just pre-check. like to find ways to just get away from I'm us. I'm just trying to get the, the fuck airport. away from everybody. There's, yeah, but you don't use clear then, though. Yeah. It's, uh, so no, it's, what, it's one or the other. TSA. No, it's both. So clear sent me an email saying, hey, if you want to sign up oh, for TSA, that if you want to sign up for TSA pre-check, through clear come on down i said fuck yeah i do so i went down and they go are you leaving today i said no i'm not leaving today i'm leaving wednesday so let's make sure all this shit's ready to go and she's like well it'll probably be ready you should be fine without any issues i'm like perfect hmm. tsa pre-check baby keep my shoes on so do you go into clear and then go into tsa yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so what's the big deal you keep your shoes on i, I don't have, have s- i have slip on shoes i have seventy five thousand electronics on me between my CPAP oh, machine, my true. fucking laptop, now my fucking Osmo Pocket 3, and I want to bring my fucking drone. What was the last thing you said? The Pocket 3 thing that I used. What no, is he said Oh, the camera thing. Yeah. Is that what it's called? So, yeah. Oh. Not to mention rechargeable batteries for boosters whenever they, whenever shit dies. You know, there's a... But there's that's in your check luggage. But what if it dies on the way there? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if it dies on the way there? It doesn't help me. There's plugs. It doesn't help and me. And airports. 
So now he I'm just wants to, to be in the yeah, the yeah, pre yeah. <laughs> I'm not telling Greg. They're get, they're getting, oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh. He has no idea. Oh, is he, he gonna like, leave him? Is he? Uh, he's in clear. Well, first of is all, is he in clear? I don't remember last time he traveled I think he's with in us. Clear, yeah. Well, first of all, they wouldn't allow him in TSA pre check anyways. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> he's a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> right, he gets snagged at the all the places, with the clubs and stuff when we go. I remember when the when they first initiated those X ray things with a yeah yeah. yeah. Greg would always do like the I'm, I'm opting out. Oh. Dude, you're a fucking. I'd like to get. May I like to get pad down? Like, what are you doing? No, they're like, okay, he butthole wants, check time. He wants you, to know, search. you know how stupid you are right now. You know how stupid you. Maybe look. he's a little embarrassed about the poop. A little pee pee. A little side of his winky, maybe. As, maybe they caught him like they started laughing when he got up. Maybe, maybe they snicker a lot. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know he's not hiding anything yeah, in there. Yeah, wow, he's he's clear to go. Clear. No, sir. Just keep going. You don't even have you're to fine. Stop. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If that's a gun. I, <laughs> And hey, we're going to be afraid of that. It's got to be the smallest gun I've ever seen in my life. So. Uh, I don't think they have TSA pre-check in Vegas on the way out. Well, they don't have clear at both terminals, but I think they may have it now. Either way, but they, they've t- got a new, because it's the lead story, actually. They've got a new self-screening security checkpoint in Vegas. Really? Where you go up and you talk to a little screen. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's got to take fucking forever. Yeah, especially the ones that can't fucking speak real languages right. anyways. In the pilot phase of an uh, autonomous self-screening checkpoint system. Really? <laughs> Scheduled difficult open uh, opens on March 11th. So it's just started. Oh, good. Oh. So we'll be right in the thick of it. Kink all the bugs out when we're there, huh? <laughs> right. So don't get in that line. The machine's down. On the way Again. Right, the machine's down. But the uh, the the video footage, is, it's a TV. You stand in front of the TV screen. They ask you the questions. It's a person working at a keyboard somewhere else in the airport. Mm. And I guess they hit the button. It goes, I'm sorry. You have to be scanned. I don't. Decline. Wow, one person. Uh, yeah, it only looked like one screen. Wow. I did go to. Um, so they're gonna get rid of all the you know the TSA people, people yeah. running around. Oh God. That's crazy. Go ahead. What were you saying? I did go to Kenny Space Center for a field trip with John. Oh yeah, how was that? Was that since last show? That was Thursday. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I haven't I haven't been to Kennedy Space Center in probably like fifteen years. It's kind of disappointing. It, it well, is. It's, it's not, not like Disney. It's not bro. that nice. There's not <laughs> like oh, like another old rocket. There's not a whole bunch of going on. <laughs> it's right. like a museum with some interaction. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Did you ride the shuttle experience or whatever it's called? No. Line was too long. Oh. Did they have, don't they have like shit. a zero gravity room or something like that? I didn't see that. No, boy, that'd be nice if they did though. They I got a, they, had that. they had a playground. That's where we went to that. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're climbing <laughs> on the old rocket. So when I was a kid, my my mother was a chaperone for SeaWorld when we came yeah. up here. Yeah. And that bitch fucking took us to every single show. And, nice. And they had just opened that playground up, and we all wanted to go on the playground. So right. he's like, no, no, we're going to go see the fucking sea lions and all yes. this other bullshit. Oh, and nice. And the sea yeah. otters. That's why you go to SeaWorld for the show. Yeah. yeah. So that shit has been etched into my brain for all of eternity. So you didn't do any of the shows. Oh. So when my kid says, hey, I want to go on the playground, I'm like, you could fucking, you know what, dude? We yes. can spend the whole day here. Let me know. I'll be in the playground. Anybody want to come? I've been know. waiting on this moment my yeah. whole life. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, fucking you climb the fucking. Do they have shows? I think so. We did like a couple things. What is there even to do there? I mean, if you didn't do the shuttle thing where you sit in and it goes. Yeah, <laughs> the, I remember that one. Yeah, I did. I remember doing that. We did the Apollo Saturn thing where you sit in like these are the actual terminals in order the people use to get to the moon and like they. Oh, you sit at like the desk thing. with the computer on it. Well, yeah. Well, you you sit you sit in a row right and viewing it. So we did that. Oh. Mm. That was There's cool. no four D like No. There's, there's, a, a, rocket bu- there's a bunch of rocket ships there. Right, a bunch of old rockets sitting around. Huh. Standing up. Right. What it, was, what's it cost to get in there now? I have no idea. Because you went on the school thing. Yeah, know, it's got to pro- be something. at least 40, 50 bucks. You think it's money? I was thinking yeah. 25, 30. No, it's got to be at least 50. Oof. So Jack's lost his backpack. Oh, uh, Lord. oh my Lord. Lord. Bus. Oh, it's on a rocket. Set it up to the space station. Uh, where's your bag? Like, oh, it's on that. I thought bus. you air tagged those. No, not this one. Oh, of it's course on, not. Someone he lost. No, we got it back. Oh, yeah, we got it back. But there's a whole circus that I had to do in order to it get. Was it. Like, uh, it was like, uh, like in Billy Madison, the bus driver was eating everybody's right. lunches. Yeah. <laughs> Who would steal thirty bag lunches? <laughs> 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 right. So what'd you have to do to get it? I had to go back to information and to go talk to the lady. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Did you? Well, you said you were excited for this because of the other dads that were. Oh yeah, yeah the, man. The trip in. Did yeah. you have? Yeah. Did you have to ride the bus? No. So you got to drive your own no, car. I took my car. Yeah. Uh, 
So oh, how many dads did you squeeze in that Just thing? my two. Just my two buddies. So just three of you in total? Yeah. You got to be. The other was dads there cigar there going, What? Okay. Was there cigar smoking? Of course. Was there drinking? Did somebody bring him? No, there was no drinking. He was hoping for drinking. I, was I remember. For drinking. <laughs> there was no drinking. <laughs> But you yeah. talk about the drinking. I was like, all right, let's go. In case somebody's watching. We smoked less than I thought. We had like one there and one home. <laughs> what do you think you were going to do? It's 45 minutes to an hour uh, drive. Maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody puff fast. Well, if you get the little guys. Yeah, take, so. the, take the raw shots. Yeah. Uh, I, you know what I smoked? Ironically enough, and it actually was suitful, suited uh, to the situation, I smoked the Johnny Tobacconaut. Oh. oh. Huh? That's oh, a good cigar. Right. Theme yeah, cigars. Good. There you go. Yeah. So there was that. Nice. So that Good stuff. Was, so, not going back. Not really compelled to go. No, no. Another field. You know, you, you got Teddy in line and uh, Justice. Justice. You think if they go to Kennedy, you're going to be a chaperone? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. It's a chaperone thing, but you're not yeah. packing up the family going. We had such hey, a great time. We're all going. We're going to the Space Center. <laughs> He's definitely going to. You got to be, gotta be like as ETA. a like. There are kids that are into that shit. That are like fucking space. Well, yeah. right. Go, oh, that's the Apollo Seven. Yeah. Oh, there's the you know, Apollo. How many is that? Like two? Yeah. Few and far between. Yeah, two kids <laughs> in so, the entire class. So, like, realistically, mother who put the plan together, her child. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> if Justice was all about fucking space, <laughs> it'd be I'd, cool. I'd be like, all right, let's go to the space center. Well, maybe right. if you start now, by the time he gets up there, he'll be terribly excited to go. I think a Disney experience would be better, and they all go to Star Wars. Jax was more hell bent yeah. about ice cream and all these other things. Oh, when did the uh, space, oh, the, uh, the astronaut ice we cream? We got that too. Yes, oh, he had, he had several cream. different ice creams, cookies, all kinds of shit. Oh. And it sounds like he had a great time because he had all this, these sweets and treats. Oh, he had a blast. And then he went to the playground. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. For him. And lost his backpack. So it was and a full lost day. His backpack. Yeah. Dad yeah. found it for me. Yeah, I don't have to give up with this. Dad will find it. Yeah. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> Not my problem. I need more ice cream, though. Uh, is there more ice cream? And will there be ice cream? Hmm. So there you go. Are we going to do some Phil's Fun Facts? Sure. Oh, we're quickly, quickly hitting that. Well, we're way past the time. Are we? Yeah, we are, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. I was having a great time talking about the ice cream. You should have brought us ice cream, just so you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Cigar Hustlers podcast feature, Phil's Fun Facts. Hello, peoples. This is a long one. Earlier this week, the USDA finalized its ruling on the voluntary labeling of products, product of the USA or made in the USA, to require all products with this label to have come from livestock, born, raised, processed, and packaged in the U.S. Up until now... The rule only required the one, one of the steps be in the U.S. for it to qualify. So, just like Phil's trip to Thailand, some of it was suspect. Next time you get inspired to make a delicious ribeye steak dinner or decide to go for a beautiful rack of ribs, look for a label that says product of the USA, unless you're going for a Philly cheesesteak, in which case it doesn't matter because it won't be good anyways. Wow. Is that a five and a half by 50? That's what yeah, I said. Yeah, five and a half. Five oh, five. did you? That's I'm what sorry. I said, yeah. Uh, Phil Fun's Fact brought to you by the Bostonia Mafia Facebook group and Braze Ranch in Waldo, Florida. Hey, cigar lovers, are you a fan of Bostonia cigars? Do you want to connect with other enthusiasts, share your experience, and get exclusive deals and giveaways? You need to join the Bostonia Mafia Facebook group. This is a community for the loyal followers of Bostonia, the brand that delivers bold flavors, impeccable construction, and amazing value. By joining the group, you will get access to special events, live shows, discounts, and more. You also have the chance to interact with the maker of Bostonia himself, Mike Stepankevich, <laughs> and learn more about his story and his vision. Don't miss this opportunity to be part of the Postania Mafia. Type the link below. Request to join now. Yeah, www.facebook.com backslash groups backslash 7486037837522. <laughs> I like the post on there yesterday from, um, I forget the gentleman's name, but he posted the SBC 16, 18, 20, and 22 yeah. labels. It was J- Jason Hawkins, wasn't it? No. Oh, I thought it was Jason that Hawkins. That was Michael... Ella Theroux, I think. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Hey. He's a good guy. <laughs> I, haven't seen, alone. I haven't seen anybody post, like, yeah. all of them together. Yeah. I thought it was a shirt or a hat when I first saw it. I had to scroll back to it. That'd make a neat shirt if you could put all of them. All of them together. That would be. 
But then you can never make cool. another one. What am I going to do for 24? Wait, you got to do the... 20, 20, 20, blend it now and four. release it in 25. Is that the way it works? Yeah. Yeah, two, two years. Every, every two. two years. Yeah. You got to do the anniversary box. The anniversary box? Where you have all of them. All of them. Oh. This being the number five of the fifth one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do the five year anniversary box, you put them all in there. That'd be dope. Okay. We'll be heading down there soon anyway, so it should be interesting. Oh yeah, what was that? Uh April? Yeah. From the four corners of the world, all the cigar industry news you could possibly PCA need. PCA News. The Cigar Hustler Podcast Report with Mike Two. The PCA Special. The PCA News Special. PCA News this week. They want you to register early. It's in a new location. Uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center Central Hall. So I guess it's a different building. Is that the upstairs or downstairs? That's got to be the downstairs? I wonder if that's a new one they were working on or something. Guess we'll find out when we get there. You know. Go ahead. Um, Dojo was covering a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, yes, they did Friday. Yeah. But I didn't watch it. And they snubbed us. They snubbed us. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch it. Wow. John McTavish tried to get us uh, in, but we are not on the list of approved brands they were talking about. A list of approved brands? Not what? maybe approved is the wrong word, but they had a list of brands that they wanted to talk about, and we were not on the list. We were not on the list. Not on the list. How, how is Postal never on the list? Big shocker. Uh, I think we're getting some uh, media... Um, uh, what's a not, not um, freezing backlash? Backlash, yeah. thank you. Yes, some backlash from maybe some of our stuff. <laughs> Who knows? I don't think so. I don't we think we, we don't this. talk. We usually don't talk bad about other media. We don't really though. talk shit about Dojo. Huh. Uh, g- we well, call we, him Gutterman. Yes, yeah, so we never says name right. What the and, fuck? Well, you we can't... laid we laid kind of hard on the there. He's one of the pair for the pants. So what? The one of the yellow pants. So maybe he's a little soft hearted. I don't know. You, I don't think, think it was a big deal. You think he's hurt? That was a long know. time ago, wasn't it? And you also, no. you have not been back on the show since your original... Uh, since our Star Wars boxing thing, yes. which was fucking hilarious. It was hilarious, but it's not serious, maybe. We're just not the serious people, so... We talk about serious stuff? No, we don't. Well, you're reading five Bro. pages of serious stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> I had jokes. This is a fucking problem with this industry. Is it be fucking people are so full of themselves. There's so much ego right, in shit. Right, sure. Like, just relax, man. But it's really only two of them that sort of snub us. Everybody else doesn't. Oh, I'm just referencing everybody else in the industry as far as brand owners and manufacturers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh, how I fucking, like other media. How fucking uh, uptight they are. I'm right. like, yo, just fucking calm down. Just calm down. Uh, I saw you're uh, on the show tonight is you and Coop. Mm. So yeah. maybe, maybe you can ask him. But he's not part of Dojo. No, no, but uh, you used to be on his, or you have been in the past, his virtual trade show he does before PCA also. He just likes to mix it up. He's doing four nights of it this year. Oh. Uh, four nights? You couldn't have gotten it one night? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, who? I mean, how many are there? <laughs> let's, let's think about it. Right. <laughs> Instead of the 17 hour marathon show, I think he's breaking it up into four different nights. Perfect. He's already done two, so I think he's got, well, he would have at least two more then hmm. before Friday, Saturday. Saturday? Is that when That's the show fine. actually starts on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I know we're not, you're not concerned. It's like on just a, a little higher. It's, it's like so I'm not fucking. I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> it's weird. It's the if it's the opposite. To be honest. All right, you can save on transportation for those of you staying at the Resorts World Las Vegas. Is that where we're staying? Yeah. Uh, use the Las Vegas Loop, also known as the Tesla Tunnel, to go to and from the center. Uh, there is a five dollar cost to use the Tesla Tunnel for the hotel. For those staying on other properties, all PCA hotels are within five to ten minute walk. I'm just gonna rent a car. Oh, we're going to drive back and forth every day? Yeah. Oh, that sounds perfect. That sounds sounds good idea to me. Shotgun, no bullets, forevers. <laughs> what the hell? What is Dude, was if, seven? If, <laughs> I just want you to know, if you don't save that as a sound clip, because that was perfectly clear. 28 minutes. Shotgun, no bullets, no fucking... And then he goes, <laughs> at the end. Oh, oh, oh. dude. Mm. Amazing. I just want to get it out there. Shotgun, no bullets, forevers. <laughs> It'll be a van or an SUV or something. Uh, download the app to make it easier to navigate the trade show. I've got the app on my phone. Do you? I uh, just got a reference to see where certain people are. Uh, pack your badge. Make sure you always have your PCA badge with you at all time because you have access to the trade show floor. Yeah. Don't be late. Don't miss out on top quality education. I guess Friday is an all-day seminar day. Oh. Uh, number seven, don't miss cigars. Cigars. Right. 
And what uh, you want to do is sell this Members' cigar. benefits. Want to know uh, how your dues are being turned into big benefits? Oh, they have an annual meeting. Mm. Fun on the floor. There'll be plenty of exhibitors and things to do on the trade show floor. Will there be sushi? No. Don't not worry. on the trade show we'll floor. Sushi. Yeah. Get ready to party. This year, there'll be two opportunities to party and celebrate with your industry peers. Opening party pro- sponsored by Crown Heads. Oh, we probably can't go. Way <laughs> easy. Easy. We didn't reference the brand. Uh-oh. Well, E.P. Corellio doesn't like us either. So, we'll be held at the Las Vegas Convention Center Hall from 5.30 to 7 p.m. on March 22nd. This year is the Best of the Leaf Awards. We're probably not getting one of those. <laughs> I don't think so. We Honor- have road awards, though. <laughs> Honoring the best in tobacco, Sunday, March 24th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Wow. Oh. We should get one of those microphones and you stand know, in the hall across from it, and we'll announce our awards while they're announcing their awards. You know what's funny super loud. is like <laughs> I usually go into this show and and it's a lot of emotions, and I'm usually super excited, right? And I'm thinking, all right, this is gonna be fucking awesome. And then usually come like day one or day two, like I get kicked in the teeth pretty hard, and I'm like, fuck, whatever, on to the next, right? right? And just keep moving forward. This year, I'm so numb to it. I'm just like. Okay, fuck it. I don't care. I just don't care anymore. Really? Not at all? No, I'm in a no ton feelings of, one way or the other? Yeah, no, there aren't. I'm in, I'm in a bunch of physical fucking pain at this point, uh, and true. I'm just like, meh. Whatever, <laughs> dude. I don't fucking care. Oh. I think it'll be good. It's been 10 years Two of me three. as a retailer. Oh, or it's been 10 years of me as a wholesaler, 15 years of me as a fucking retailer, and right. I'm just like, meh. Whatever, oh, my bro. my stuck in the thing. Yeah, but this is a big one, because you're releasing Justice. Yeah, I, I guess. I just don't care anymore. Oh, look, it, and you know, it'll probably be where it's the fucking biggest one. Uh, it seems like we got a lot of appointments. We do have a lot of appointments. <laughs> All right. By participating in the trade show, you hereby agree to abide by the following. There is a list of media rules this year. Don't be an asshole. Rules? Rules for media people. We Come have on. media badges, so you got to pay attention. I have a media badge? Yes. Okay. Don't, uh, during trade show hours, I respect the time of the exhibitors. I will not interrupt or disrupt any conversations. I understand this is an important time to them. Okay, I'm not doing uh, that we, one. Yeah, we're absolutely out of that uh, one. I'm not doing that one. Let's mark these as we go. I will not request, solicit, or otherwise ask manufacturer for free goods, including, oh, check <laughs> that one out. Uh, it be our last year to get media passes, just uh, so you know. We'll just switch the passes. I, I will not solicit for advertising <laughs> in any other show. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. I am not responsible for my own... Pro- oh, okay. I will be responsible for my own property and my own equipment. I will not hold PCA responsible for damages, theft, or other consequences to my equipment at the show unless it gets broken while that's I'm there. iffy. Unless, that's unless iffy. Scott smashes it. There you go. <laughs> uh, I understand that no person under the age of 21 will be admitted to the show. I have to card people, apparently, now as they come in. Excellent. Do you have ID? You have ID? Uh, it's a members-only event that I am attending for the purposes of covering the show in the capacity of a media professional. Oh, professional. Let's cross that. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're definitely not professional. professional. Yeah. And Somebody member of the words. press. Yeah, okay. I will not give badges to anyone outside my company. Oh, well, that's a problem, too. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, All right, those are the rules. Uh, I will be responsible for my own property. We'll just go with that. <laughs> I'm putting you in hockey gear, like goalie gear. Ah, be fine. Wow, what rules those are. Those are rules. No, there's more rules. You know what, though? I'm going to oh, be honest. More? I'm going to be honest. Those four rules, they all make sense. Sure they do. Because they do. I would be super pissed off if I'm talking to somebody and they, hey, ah. I'm like, no, You mean like no. when you go up to Nick and you just grab him and try to steal his uh, stuff off the counter? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally. Yeah. That doesn't apply. Doesn't These are apply. rules for everybody else. Oh. Yeah. Not oh. rules for me. Oh, right? oh, I see. Uh, as far as like trying to peddle fucking advertisement space, I get that. Yeah, uh, time and a place. Right, you know? right. Just establish the relationship. If you have a meeting, is it possible to talk about it then, do you think? Like a meeting that yeah, has yeah, a meeting with you, is it possible to solicit you yeah. for yeah, if you're interested after the media, interview? Yeah. Just so you know, if you're interested, we always have open spaces. All right, cool. Well, doesn't the media get in early? To- no. No, uh, we're about to do cover that next. Uh-huh. No media is allowed on the show floor during setup. No media is allowed on the trade show floor until it opens each day at 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m., uh, or Saturday and Sunday, or and it's Monday, it's you're allowed in at nine a.m. Yeah, regular open hours. Oh, regular wow. open hours. Yeah, because last year they were allowed in early, right? An hour early. Well, I didn't go last year, but uh, normally it was an hour early. Yeah. Oh, wow. that yeah, kind of sucks for them. Somebody Th- complaining. It's, Look, we got free passes. I mean, you know, we got to give up something. You know, but nobody th- wants to be there an hour early. To be honest, well, media probably like going in because then yeah, but the people that want that you want yeah, to want to talk to they yeah. don't want to fucking. Skip's not, not there an hour early. No, Skip's not there till an hour after. Yeah, it's it a fucking 
to oh. lunch. Right. Yeah, he, so. yeah, about 12. Uh, you know what? I think last year, actually, he did show up early. Did he? Yeah. And it kind of, I was taking your word for it. I, I was kind of taking it back. It was a couple of days, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you yeah, doing well, here? It's uh, cats and dogs and uh, uh, raining out. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, they had a lot of people. That's probably why. They had a lot of people. Like a lot of people coming to their. They group. always have a lot of people's. Even the year they had yeah. four chairs, they had a lot of people's. Yeah. All right, the Hoya Cabaneta Lancero returned for limited release at PCA oh. 2024. Oh, Hoya. Uh, that's, that's, that's lovely. Oh, I saw this morning that Esteban is starting a new cigar with another gentleman. Yeah. Is that you? No. Oh. You want to talk about that? I sure, let's talk gonna, about I that. I wasn't going to address that shit. I, uh, Coop released it this morning. Yeah. I didn't have time to pull the story, but I did see the headline. Yeah. So he gave it out to 100 retailers. Right. Yeah. His top retailers. Right. Top retailers did, from the Guaymaro? For you to try or whatever. Oh. How would how would he know from the Guaymaro? Well, I have that information. Well, that's what that was the next question. Yeah. You would have had to have given it to him. So yeah. how would he know what his top retailers He hasn't retailer had fucking are? correspondence with me at all. Oh. Zero. Yeah. So I guess we didn't get any to try either. No. No. No, we no. didn't get any to try. Right. Which is perfectly acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Right. And the reality is that you normally when you're full of shit in this industry, you fucking stay away from me. So, like, I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's really how that works. Hmm. You know, like, I'm not f- afraid of the conflict. No, no, you thrive you know? on conflict. I do. I just feel more comfortable. Right, there. right. I just feel more. <laughs> I, I like it better if you don't like me. Yeah. This, you know what? Let's then I know where I stand. In. Let's just iron this out. Right. You I know? don't want you to like me because then maybe you don't really like me. I really believe that friendships are forged better through the conflict. Oh, yeah? One way or the other. Whether it's an external situation where you have to deal with a conflict or it's something between two different people and you sort it out and move forward, I think that you become better friends that way. Oh. Honestly. Yeah. And if you're not willing to go through the Is conflict. Is he, or you would have no idea if he's showing up at the show or not. I would assume no. not. Has yeah. he ever shown up at the show? Yes, he went one year. Yeah. Uh, had to be 2020, yeah. maybe? Yeah. 2020. Huh. I think that, you know, the reality is that everybody thinks it's easy. Everybody thinks right. that doing this shit is easy to do and nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about and this is how I'm going to do it. Like, it's oh, ringing right. the story about how he's selling it? <gasps> what? How, who's selling it for him? I mean, he oh, can't I be doing it. I think it's the guy. Oh. Illusio? No. No, no, no. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I can't be bothered with it. So. <laughs> right. All right, Carlos and Maria Orgasmo limited edition is debuting at the PCA 2024. Orgasmo? Ah. Orgasmo. The next cigar in the Freud Cigar Company is getting ready to release its second of three cigars for its Carlos and Maria brand. Agrape? Yes, the Agape. It will be a limited edition that will debut in the 2024 PCA Convention and Trade Show later this month. It's called Orgasmo, with the name representing the passion of the storyline, and serves as a follow-up to the Amorio, a line named for everlasting love, and Gerald, uh, Gerald Tritt, director of operations for Freud Cigar Company, told Half Wheel that uh, the third line, which is not yet named, is looking uh, like a PCA 2025 release. Well, I'm looking forward to the PCA 2025 release. I heard about what the name is. You want to hear it? Sure. Ejaculario. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just progressive. Yeah. Oh, it's going to come with Sound a name like that it. represents an yeah. extension of love. Yeah. So that yeah. fits perfectly. Yeah. It's Orgasmo and then oh. Ejaculario. Oh, it's nice. yeah. yeah. Wow. This and, uh, what's the next one? And then like well, know, they're only doing three. And then, and then I heard that there there was going to be like white stains throughout the booth. Oh yeah, uh, oh that's yeah. nice. That's yeah. Just fitting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. White carpet, white walls. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. It's going to look spooky. Well, they're going to black light it. And yeah, it's going to glow in certain places. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Perfect. That sounds great. Oh yeah. They really they really went deep in there with the thought process. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty detailed. Diaz de Gloria Brazil debuting at the PCA 2024. Orgasmo. AJ Fernandez released the Diaz de Glorio, a Nicaraguan puro inspired by the cigar smoked by Ishmael Fernandez when he killed the great white <laughs> whale, and uh, and he is the father of Abdel Fernandez. Ishmael is the father of Abdel. Call me Ishmael from the whale. Ishmael book? Fernandez, the guy who killed the whale. Oh yeah. He's also the father of Adel. Abdel. 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 Could be, I guess. Abdel. Could be. Yeah. You can say it either way. Uh, AJ. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> this year, coming release the second line for the brand new Diaz de Glorio Brazil. Okay. All right. Smoking Jacket showing off their mini Henike, H E N K I E. He Nikai. Wait, one more time. Spell Heine- one more time. H E. Oh, no, I thought of Heineken too. H E N K I E. Hen. Hen. Kai. 
Kai. That's right. N K E. Good job. Yeah, N K E. The first time in years, smoking jacket is a new cigar. It's called the Mini N K E, a Hen cigar Kai. created by Henrik, Hendrik, and Hendrik for a man who goes by N K E. Mini Hen K E. Dunbarton Tobacco Trust is adding the Umbagog Bronze back at PCA 2024. Yeah. Oh my God. It's in Compromiso. They're making a Robusto. The Umbagog Ooh. Bronze bag is a five by forty Rothschild that uses a slightly different Connecticut broadleaf with a sweet tip wrapper. Oh. No, that's not true. No, it's alleged. But he likes when I say that for some reason. That's funny. <laughs> um, Nicaraguan tobacco, binder filler, medium, dark, uh, a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> All right, a Miami man is arrested for counterfeit packaging for more than one You're million. You're moving to the Wait, Florida story? Yeah, no, this, is, this is regular cigar news. Oh, okay. That's all the PCA stuff. We've covered all the other releases in the other weeks. Well, you know, but the one thing that we didn't really tap on that we tapped briefly on uh, last week was yes. the Nick Malolo departure of Agonorsa and going yes, to Pepin Garcia. Yes, we talked about that. Oh, on the Patreon, we yeah. talked about it. Oh, yeah. that's right. We didn't. So, but, okay. What else did you find out? Well, I just, you know, the one thing we that- We called everybody we could possibly think of. The one thing I want <laughs> that I want everybody to kind of understand is like the owner of Agonorsa and yes. the owner of Pepin Garcia, yes. they fucking hate each other. Oh, like, do they? They absolutely despise each other. Oh. oh. So, in order, like- to move over to that factory is the biggest fuck you. Quite the, yeah. So, in the ass to him. so I want to know what the fuck. Wait, you want to try Nick Nick Here's the funny. Nick, Nick don't call me. He's not fucking answering. Nick. Here's what's funny about this industry is that when people are outraged or upset or whatever, media doesn't cover it. Right. I, I don't know why. You're like, oh no, we might upset somebody. Like, but that's right, that's, that's fucking media, right? You're supposed to. Like, you're yeah, supposed to be you turned on the news yet lately. You're supposed. Well, to, they're all afraid a brand's going to get mad at them and and not like, talk to them. Oh well, fuck that guy. I mean, just be neutral in the scenario. Hey, why did you do this? Are right. you fucking pissed off? Like, what did Agonors do that upsets you? I'm right. curious. Yeah. Just the facts. Like, just tell me what you know. What made you? If you want to be diplomatic about it, or whatever, go ahead. Go right the fuck ahead. Because right. I'm gonna. Uh, once we hang up, I'm gonna read and say, I think. Here's what I think. <laughs> right. This is this is how we're now taking that the I information. Have this info. But that is that is a big fuck you. Right. That is a huge fuck you to do something. We like forgot that. to dim the lights again. I just realized. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Go ahead, dim it now. Mid mid June. There you go. Perfect. It's a huge fuck you. Sure. Yeah. So you know. How does that work? Is Nick still good with them? Do, do they look the uh, other way when they see each other? I mean, right. uh, well, maybe we can get Riley. Are there booths next to each other? I don't know. I don't know if you look. Maybe we can get Terrence Riley going a little walk with us. We'll walk him over to Nick's booth. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should you come here. Maybe we should axe him. Uh, 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 that's the name of the new cigar, axe him. <laughs> but he said, axe him. Let's axe him. Axe him. That'd be a great interview. Have have Terrence there and Nick Malello and you in the middle. Listen, let's have a boxing match and we can have Tyson referee because apparently he's releasing some shit uh, for at uh, through Gurkha. Oh, that's right. He's making a Gurkha cigar. Do you see what the rules are for that fight he's doing? What is it? Not a lot of hit, Jake. No punches. <laughs> no the 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 young guy gets to have his brother help him. He can tag his brother in, or what? They can, or they can go two on one. He's allowed uh, <laughs> muscle enhancing drugs. Who? The kid that he's fighting. It's not Tyson, right. the other guy. Oh, my God. And then it was something else, so I can't forget. How can he well, do that? Because I thought it was sanctioned. Let me tell you, let me tell you a couple That's things. Let me tell you a couple things. Real quick. Tyson's going to whoop the fuck. For one, he can have his brother fucking chime in and help. He can tag him. Oh, Tyson's going to win. They can they can bring two of them at the same fucking time. Right. And they can be roided out of their goddamn minds. He just Tyson has to will, hit them once. Tyson will blast through both of them right. without fucking question. Yeah. And I'm not talking about Tyson as prime. I'm talking about like Tyson currently. Have you right. seen the two of them train? Yeah. I've seen Tyson train. I haven't seen I've that watched, the other guy. I've watched. I've done comparables. I've seen comparables. I'm like, <sighs> one guy is in his own world. He is a fucking champion. He's an absolute conqueror of the industry. Yeah. Fucking dominated boxing when he was at his prime. And the other guy is a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude. You're not fucking, this isn't, you're not going up against Ocho isn't Cinco. He, isn't he an MMA, MMA fighter or something? No, like? he's in WWE or whatever. One of them's in WWE now. Yeah, but now, <laughs> not before. Regardless. I think he can use his feet too or something. That's what it is or something. Whatever. Yeah, it's not going to help. You know what? Let him bring a gun into the fucking <laughs> ring. It's not, it's not enough. Right. It ain't going to be enough. Yeah, Tyson's a scary dude. Tyson is next level, man. Always has been, always fucking will be. Guy is a fucking absolute beast, a complete conqueror. So, yeah, okay. Here's stipulations. I'm going to be able to tag my brother when I'm tired. 
Yeah. And now like the Tyson. other, what's what's their last names? Tyson. No. no. Uh, lo, uh, starts with the L. Paul. Uh, starts with the L. Ends with Paul, L. Starts with the L, Paul. <laughs> and now the other Paul is entering <laughs> the ring, and he's refreshed. Right. Uh, oh, well, let's see. Oh, looks like he's taking an injection before he fucking, you know, like, give me a break. Uh, and his teeth he's, just got he's slammed. He's snorting the line off the uh, uh, ref's ass. And he's dead. All right, regular cigar news now. All right, go ahead. I gotta fill up the time. Oh, we did sports finally. If you've ever perfect. wondered what the world of counterfeit cigars in the U.S. looks like, the Miami Dade Police Department is a glimpse into the part of the process. On March 11th, Miami Dade Police arrested uh, Jorge Gomero, 52 of 10 of Miami. We don't care his address. On uh, multiple felony charges, some related to stolen goods, others related to counterfeit cigar brands. Bands. Mm. Counterfeit. Since January, the police have been investigating Gomero and his business, El Baraton, a retail store in Miami that is expected to operate as a fence. After arresting a different person for theft, that suspect indicated that they sold they sold the stolen goods to Gomero. Police began investigating Gomero, noticing that various individuals would enter El Baron, have bags full of items, and leave without them, including performing undercover sales of allegedly stolen goods to Gomero and his wife. Only in Miami, baby. Only in Miami. Let's go. So they would steal cigars and then sell them at the shop, or they were stealing cigars from the shop and then selling them? They were taking cigars into the shop, banding them as Cubans and other counterfeit cigars, and then he would sell them at his shop and other locations. Oh, uh. Nice. Wow. So they seized all the um, bans and stuff. There was pictures of those. That's um. I mean, the police really looked into that. The bill. The he really pissed out. somebody off. Yeah. Yeah. The police. The police report says the packaging is for brands including Romeo and Julieta, H. Upman, Trinidad, Monte Cristo, Cohiba, C. A. O. Bolivar, El Rey do Mundo, La Gloria Cubana, Macanudo, Punch, Partigas, and Sancho Panza. I only like the El Rey. Though. Images taken by the police show that the bands and boxes are separated, which the police report says was consistent with the manufacture of counterfeit cigar boxes. That's crazy. Huh. Uh, Luciano Cigars moves Fiat <laughs> Lux production to Tabacos de Orient. Announces uh, Tenembros. Ten, yeah, Tenembros limited edition. Luciano Cigars has announced a pair of development for its Fiat Lux line, the first being that production is being moved from the Luciano Cigar Factory to the Marialis Placencia Tobaccos de Orient in Donnelly, Honduras. Mm. As well as uh, well as the line will be adding a limited edition called Tenembrus. The new cigar is a six and a half by fifty two Toro. Blah blah blah. Is he coming out with one called Mint Ninety? That's it. Uh, the leaf is found in the original field. Both wrappers were fermented more than five years. The company said allegedly that the Luciano discovered both types of tobacco and set atop a binder and a filler that both come from Nicaragua. The company calls the profile a medium full blend with an intricate balance of sweetness and depth. Yeah. Hmm. He must owe the other factory some money. <laughs> Something, yeah. You got to move it to the fucking... You got to move one. along. Uh, yeah. you gotta oh, shop. we're going to go to the different one. You yeah. got a shop of the week, Michael? Yes. What's a shop of the week? Bull Weevil Cigars. Bull Weevil Cigars somewhere in Indiana. Or uh, Alabama. Indiana? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. Uh, Huntington. It sounds uh, like it. Uh, somewhere near the beach. Or I don't know. They're in Alabama. Somewhere yeah. not in Florida. Somewhere not in Florida. About nine hours from here. Nine hours from here. You go north, you turn left, and then you stop when you get the bull wheel. Yeah. You stop when you when you don't hear the banjos anymore. Well, when you hear the banjos. <laughs> oh. That was all the news? Were you looking it up? No. Oh, what were you doing? It's in Enterprise, Alabama. Okay. Enterprise. Is that, is that was your question? Oh. No, I'm looking at my... Uh, listener of the Week? Yeah. All right, who's Listener of the Week, Michael? Michael Aleph the Real. Mike. Michael Aleph the Real. Hey, listen, Michael, I'm sorry if I fuck up your last name, but you wouldn't get mine right either, so let's be honest. But he's a good guy. Are there any cigars you're... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, he's a good guy. Any cigars you're looking Don't forward you to... Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What? Don't you dare. Any cigars you're looking forward to trying at the show? No. How about you over there, Phil? I'm, so I read a post the other day about some cigar that they're making, releasing at the PCA, where one cigar is made in one factory or whatever, and the other cigar is made in another factory. So two cigars made in two separate factories. One cup. Yeah, but it's, Sounds but like it, a novel but idea. It's, but two, it's in the same box. Two cigars, one oh, cup. Oh, two, yeah. two cigars, one box. One cup, yeah. I had to look it up and see who it was. Oh, you're really excited about Sounds that. Sounds like something Fratello would do. Fucking riveting. Well, it was just kind of because it's different. I want to see the Black Light cigar the Black Label's putting on. Um, what is it? I'm looking forward to the Ejaculario. <laughs> That's next year. Oh, wow. damn. 
This year you can get the orgasmo. The orgasmo? Yeah. Which happens, you know, before the ejaculato. The ejaculario. Ejac- right. I don't know if I'd want to taste the sample, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you don't think so? You know what? I'm going to pass on that. I don't think I want to see you make the cigars. The out? Try out the ejaculario. Mm. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. No, I'm good. I haven't had the uh, orgasmo yet, so I hear you have to have it first. Yeah. Nothing intriguing, huh? I mean, obviously, other than the Justice and the cro But the cro should be here in the next day or two. Right, but I mean that will be at the show. Yeah, so there's that. I mean, Other than and the justice two. I have access to. So, <laughs> so no. So there, you know. So nothing really. Oh, what day do we have uh, the uh, attack of the sushi uh, scheduled? Attack of the sushi will be Wednesday. <laughs> oh, well, first day. They are out. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna fucking right out of the way. I'm gonna hit the gym. Did you call them? No. Did you pre-order the <laughs> sushi? No. That's probably a good idea before they get extremely busy from all the people that are coming in. Yeah. Bucarezzo. Because a lot of people don't come in until Friday. Yeah. The media people aren't hitting until Friday. Uh, by the way, Jack Toronio, uh, he said that we need to give him a shout out for his Patreon membership. He's a free member. He's going to pay. He doesn't even get stickers for free. No, member. he's going to pay. Something happened. I'm telling you. Mm, I don't think anything happened. But uh, yeah, it's Jack Toronio. We love Listener you. Listener of the week. Listener of the week. Make him listen of the week, too. <laughs> there you go, Jack. <laughs> Please bring us a lot of uh, the San Andreas cigar. Like, Are they coming out with something? Espinosa? No, it's bomb. Just came out now. Bomb, 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 bomb. I'm bomb, sure. Bomb, I'm sure they'll have bomb, bomb. something. You see that some people release stuff before the show. I think that's smart. Why? Yeah, because yeah. you're not running against anybody at that point. Right. Normally, anything you buy at the show doesn't come out till the fall or Christmas anyway. Yeah. So then why go to the show if you release it before? So that you can touch Nick Malolo. <laughs> Who will be at the EP Carilio or what? Uh, the He'll be at Pepin Pepin. Garcia's Pepin Pepin Garcia. Garcia's. The Pepin Garcia booth the whole time. I thought you were going to say Luciano went to Pepin. I like that we called Alfredo and he's like, hey, and I, I'm right. dumb jabbing him. He goes, just so you know, I'm not alone in the car. I'm like, oh, fucking great. Well, then pass the phone. I oh, want I answers. Phone. I need answers. We called him. He wouldn't answer his own He wouldn't phone. answer. He's All smart. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we called Nick, and then we called his salesman, and then we talked to his vice president in charge of sales. Well, kind of. Kind of. And then we finally had to call Jack, and he made up a story for us. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right. It's been episode 325 of the PCA Breeze Show. We'll all see right. you guys on the show. We got to go. Bye. A Cigar Hustlers podcast, its owners and its sponsors, take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guest. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of Mike and Mike Productions or the podcast providers, and opinions between talk show hosts may differ. It is not our intention to libel, incite, or hurt anyone's feelings. We invite you to write the show's host, Mike Stepankevich, with any feedback or suggestions that you have for their shows. These broadcasts are presented and made public as entertainment in the hope that they will be entertaining to the audience.